Royal Ascot it is still, even though this year there's no glittering procession from the Golden Gates and the Royal Box is empty. But apart from that one silent regret, the sun shines and so does Ascot. His Majesty the King, with his usual consideration for the country's industries, has commanded that mourning shall not be worn. So once again, the greatest race meeting is also the biggest fashion parade. But it isn't only the thoroughbreds in the paddock who enjoy themselves. There's plenty of fun on the heath as well. As usual, there's a great deal of walking round and round. But you can't really blame them. After all, so many of them aren't interested in horses. And when your eyes have been dazzled by the hats, cast them down and see how fashion moves in dainty shoes. The gypsy warned her, but did she take the hint? But though you mightn't have known unless I told you, all this is to watch a horse race. And there are one or two horses spotted about. In other words, the stage is set for the Royal Hunt Cup. 31 horses get away to a fair start. And along the new mile, Saracen holds a slight lead from last year's winner, Preoc and Guinea Gap. Coming up to the stands, it's Overcoat in the lead, with Guinea Gap close behind. And by now, at least three quarters of the rest of the field hasn't a ghost of a chance. Two furlongs from home, Guinea Gap takes the lead. And though he's hard pressed, Guinea Gap wins by half a length with Volta second and Rose Crag third. And there goes my horse. <laughs>